over colluding with the rogue officials to siphon public funds from the National Health Insurance Fund. The committee, chaired by Endebus MP Honorable Dr. Robert Pikosi, visited East Lee, promising Kenyans that they would not rest until they get all the answers. National Assembly Departmental Committee on Health on Monday assessed hospitals around Nairobi. Accused of NHIF fraud and operating beyond capacity in poor condition, they started a probe in Isle. Led by Indiwa Member of Parliament Martin Owino, the committee visited hospitals in Isle, among them Joy Nursing Home. What we are finding is that most of these facilities were set up as special purpose vehicles, where you have surgeries which were never uh, done and yet they were claimed from NHIF. And that is why we are asking to know who in particular authorized for those surgeries. So that I think it's a high time that people were held liable so that they can be a lesson to other people. This country must change. And this committee is committed to cleaning up the health Joy Health Center Hospital. The committee went to Mal Hospital, which they found closed. The chairman of the committee, Robert Pukose, explained say that a mal hospital is one of the hospitals that do not work when they're wasting government money to the NHIF health insurance. Additionally, he added that the fraud related to that hospital may have contributed to its employees escaping the hands of the law. This hospital, when you look at it, it is indicating that they are both inpatient and outpatient services. In a hospital where you have those services, you have no reason at all to close it when uh, you hear that parliamentary committee are coming around. Because where are the patients? If you close it that way, it means this hospital has no patients. So what claims, are, what justification do you have to make any claim? Because a hospital like this means, how did you remove even the patients that were supposed to be inpatient? Because somebody to be admitted means that person is not able to walk or is not able to to go uh, as an outpatient and get services. So this is supposed to be an inpatient facility, offering even maternity delivery. Where are those deliveries? Where are those mothers? Where are those patients? Additionally, Duncan Matenge added that the heads of the Amal Hospital should appear before the parliament as soon as possible to answer questions about its performance and patients' bills associated with the hospital. The committee promised to have justice served assuring Kenyans they will not rest until they get the answers. A huge number of patients under NHIF cover who are apparently claimed uh, treated in this facility came from the same companies. An audit of the attendance sheets of those companies show that patients whose claims were lodged by NHIF here were on duty in the companies where they are employed and where their NHIF deductions are made. On Tuesday, the committee will continue its fact-finding mission investigating health facilities within Nairobi County suspected of colluding with drug officials to siphon public funds from the National Health Insurance Fund. The committee chaired by NDBS Member of Parliament Honorable Dr. Robert Pokose will be visiting St. Peter's Orthopedic and Surgical Speciality in Kangemi. Ebikadini, look up TV.